Okay, so here we have class portfolio. And again, we need to initiate it. And this time we have several attributes to include. And the first thing we need to define is the lot size lot. It determines the number of lots that we are going to buy. So it's a long order, right? Long. In this case, I just use one. Okay, it doesn't matter. And lot size, same case for shot. I just make it one. It just means you're going to buy one lot, right? Per long order and one lot per shot order. It You can always adjust this one. So you can change to 100 or 10, something like that. For simplicity, I just make it one. And we need to define the contract size. That means the number of shares or number of the whatever assets you're going to buy per lot. I think I'll just make it one. It doesn't matter for this case because we are doing Google. We're not doing another stock. So I'll just make it one. But again, you can always change that. Let's say during the past 100 years, it may like period one, then it has 100 shares. Otherwise, it's like 50, whatever. Feel free to change that. But in this case, I'm going to just make it one. We need to define the initial cash. That's the amount we invest, we put upfront. So in this case, just put 1 million. And the other one is we need to define the long amount. The long amount is just the amount we're going to pay when we place a long order. I know when I pay, I know my cash flow will be negative. So I just multiply any amount by negative one just to make it negative. And we are going to buy and we use the numpy dot where again when the signal oh i know when the order equals one we are going to pay by the lot size long the number of lots that we are going to buy multiplying the contract size right the number of shares per lot at the trade price otherwise it's zero and then we go back to our formula the order is from the signal class dot order equals one when the order equals one we are going to oh, just enter. We are going to multiply the portfolio class dot lot size long, which is this one, times the portfolio class dot contract size, which is this one, multiplied by the strategy class dot trade price, which is way about okay. going back to the strategy class here the trade price the open price of the day at the day of transaction we are going to pay by the quantity of lot we are going to buy multiplying the number of shares per lot at the opening price otherwise it's zero let me just add one more column long amount equals to equals to oh okay so before that we need to define the I just assign P to the portfolio class, right? So that when I print a new column called long amount, it's going to be equal to the portfolio class dot long amount. It's just an instance, so we don't need a bracket. So let's print out 85th to 120th row. Shift enter. Oh, okay. Anyway. Let me stop here first. So finally, I got that. The reason why I can't get it was I can't put enter in between. Okay, so it has to be aligned like this. So that's the result. Okay, so for the self dot long amount, it's going to be equal to negative one times this one. So everything is in between numpy dot where. When the order equals one, it is a buy order, right? So we are going to multiply the lot size long, the number of lot we are going to purchase times the contract size, the shares per lot times the trade price, which is the open price. Otherwise, it's zero. So the signal is under this order is under the signal class. So we put signal dot order equals one so it is a purchase then we are going to let me try self because 
itself is pointing to portfolio. So let me try this. And again, you know what? I forget the order. The order is a method. So when you check okay. signal class, order is a method. So I have to include a bracket. Otherwise, you will have problem. So gotta be really careful. The self dot lot size here times self dot contract size times strategy class dot trade price. Otherwise, it will be equal to zero. So let me try printing out adding a column called long amount equal to its abbreviated SP portfolio dot long amount this time we are not using the method so we don't need to include the amount oh <laughs> you know what i forgot the print because i can print this one so as you see i use the dot look so the look is wrapping around the row which is from the 100th to the 120th and i'm just printing these columns instead of printing open high low close because we don't need the open high low close so we press shift enter so we get this that means we are okay now really we can just wipe this out and for the short amount which is the amount that we are going to receive just paste it and change so i'm just getting lazy so the short amount it doesn't equal to a negative number because when you sell the stock you're going to get money right so it's a positive one so instead of wiping this out, I'll just keep this because it just reminds me the direction of the cash flow. So when the order equals negative one, wrap around with a bracket, then I'm going to sell the lot size short. The contract size stays the same and the sale price stays the same. Otherwise, it's zero. Let me print the short amount equals B dot portfolio dot short amount and i'm going to include that here so short amount so let me press shift enter so when you scroll inside the short so amount the trade signal is negative one we can trade right but we place the order here negative one and i should buy one lot of share at 35.46 and I just assume that I'm just buying one share because our contract size is one. So the next amount that I'm going to calculate is the daily change of cash. Find cash outer equals so the self dot cash outer equals this one. Oh, excuse me. Just paste this one and then return self dot cash delta hopefully it works so this time the cash delta it has to be a bracket because it's in is a method okay so shift enter yep this time it works so you see cash delta so you just add them both add a negative number okay so in this one how come this one is negative yeah, I'm buying. And this one is positive because we are selling cash. Then the next one we are going to calculate is the ending balance, the cash ending balance of the portfolio. Now, well, um, I just start 100,000, so a little bit more. <laughs> so self dot end balance equals the portfolio's initial cash. So the startup amount plus the cash delta's cumulative sum. But remember, we need the portfolio class. So it's the startup amount, the initial cash, adding up the accumulated amount of the cash position change. So just return self dot n balance. It's this one. So let me add one more and balance you know what <laughs> i forgot to add a column so just n balance equals portfolio and balance method shift enter so this one should be fine 
So we are just I'm doing something wrong. So let's do again. So we define the end balance. So it's just equal to okay self dot end balance equals to the portfolio's startup amount initial cash initial initial cash a hundred thousand dollars and it adds the portfolio class dot cash delta dot sum and then we return the self dot end balance I'm going to add a column end balance equals portfolio dot end balance method and remember to include that in our print in our dot look location so ship enter. and it's going to minus this one and you get lower 96 so when you add up add that back then you have 35 then we're going to calculate the position the ending position each day so the ending position of the portfolio is just the pot or it's just the signal class order each day's order is the accumulation of the the come sum the accumulation of the order okay so return self dot and we're going to print that out so it's ending position equals to portfolio dot end post in the method shift and oh sorry you know what i forgot to include that here so just end position okay just click somewhere and then shift enter so we have the position so for a day we place the order one then we are going to pay this amount and then we get one more stock and up until here we are going to place the order of selling stock at this amount to get this and amount one minus one equals zero okay so it's the running total set for a portfolio class in the next video i'm going to calculate the profit and loss and graph it so that we know whether our strategy makes profit or not